Hi, my name is Danielle Parrish, and I am a longtime Republican, but I first registered as a voter when I, I turned 18 that day and registered as a Republican. Um, and so I was really excited to vote Republican for my first time. And I went on to study political science, and I had the goal of working in politics, which not everyone does when they study political science, but I did actually ended up, um, I, I did a Republican campaign right when I got out of college. I don't think that the president is, I don't think he's professionally qualified to be in the position that he's in. I don't think he has an understanding or grasp of the constitution. I don't think he cares about what's legal. I don't think that he understands legislative processes or government processes as a whole. And I know that there was this whole big movement where people were like, oh, he's not a government insider. I really, like, I don't, like, I don't relate to that at all. I think if, if you're going to have the top job in the nation, running the nation, I think some experience and understanding of government is very important. Um, and not only do I not think he understands it, I don't think he, he cares about learning it on the job. I think he just wants to do things as he's always done them, which is um, like using shortcuts and doing things that he thinks will benefit he and his family. If I were to guess, I would say that the president has to be the least intelligent president that we've had in modern recorded history. Because I think this is also exemplified by his poor vocabulary. Um, I think he, he almost flaunts it on Twitter that he's just not, he's just not very bright. Um, my other concern is I think he's racist and I think he inspires racism and emboldens racism. So I can't, I can't vote for, I would never consider voting for Trump and made the mistake last time of doing a write-in. I don't think he's a real Republican, for one thing. I don't think he's all about, he doesn't, I don't think he understands the concept of small government.